Hey everyone, thanks for joining. I am just going to give you a quick walkthrough of some of my favorite Data Studio templates that are free. These are all available on the Data Studio Template Gallery. You can find that by Googling Data Studio Template Gallery or navigating to datastudio.google.com slash gallery. You can see it right here on my browser and you'll get you'll be able to access this list. Uh, but I just want to highlight some of the things I love here and uh, hopefully give you all a good sense of, you know, how you can use some of these templates to make your life a little bit easier when you're building your own reports using Data Studio. So in the Data Studio template gallery, we've got a few featured templates here. Uh, I'm a little biased. I love my template that's on here, the SFO Passenger Data Template. This is a bright red, <laughs> one of the earliest Data Studio templates I made with some data available from SFO, the airport. Um, it's not practical necessarily for everyone's reports, but it's a little bit fun, a little bit different. If you're trying to make something bold that stands out, it's a great option. Uh, DataBlue, as you can see here, has some amazing reports available, and I really like the way that they're styled. I also want to shout out Michael Howe Ellie. He is somebody I've known in the Data Studio community for ages. He does beautiful work. Um, and his Google Analytics report of his, it's clean, it's simple, it looks great, it gives you some actionable insights, and you can customize this. You make a copy of it and you can customize it to kind of meet your own needs a little bit. Figure out which metrics you actually want and dig into those. Google Analytics has a lot of data available, so it's important to dial things in to match what you're doing. Uh, I also want to show this one from Data Blue. They've got all sorts of great work here along with other templates as well. Go check them out. Please give them your support if you are willing to pay for one of their templates. Uh, they do some amazing work. I'm always consistently impressed with what they post here and they definitely deserve to be in the featured gallery. Um, some of this depends on what you're doing. So if you're using data from Google, if you're using a Google service, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Google Ads, Check out the Marketing Templates tab where you're going to find a lot of great stuff focused on those areas. A lot of this is Google Ads focused, but there's other stuff as well. These are made by the team, uh, the Google Data Studio team, um, and they include a lot of great actionable data. The design is a little generic, so you might have to dial in the design a little bit. But one of the great tricks we have with Data Studio is you can take one of these reports where you actually just like the content on the page, copy that, and then go to one of the reports that has a style that you like a little bit more, maybe something like this one, and then use those styles in your new report that you're building. So take, okay, like look at the shape that's in the background and the fill color for that shape, do a similar fill color in your own dashboard. You can kind of copy things over that way. Obviously don't directly 100% copy somebody's work, but taking inspiration for color and style, I think is totally fine. Um, and one of the easiest ways to start to learn how to do your own designs. Uh, I just want to jump into the community section here. Uh, the community section has a ton of visualizations. Look at this. I'm just sorry. I'm just scrolling to give you a sense. Goes on and on and on. A lot of these have cool styles. Uh, I've got a few in here as well, um, but mine are posted so long ago that they're at the bottom now. My acquisition trend spotter was one of the also one of the earliest <laughs> templates in this gallery. Um, but this also gives you some some templates focused on very different things, right? Like the most minimalist dashboard. I love this, very straightforward. If you're trying to boil things down to a few key points, that's a great template to use. Um, but it also has some things that go a little bit deeper. If you're looking for a search console report that goes deep, we got one right here. It's a SEO focused search console report. You can grab that, use that as, as copy it over and start using that kind of data to attach to your own analytics connector, or excuse me, your own SEO search console connector and start getting some really useful stuff. Um, I am not gonna go through connecting your own data in right now, just because it, it is a little bit in depth, but conceptually you should just understand that when you copy one of these over, it is connecting to whatever data source they originally had. And you are going to have to connect your own data source and then connect it through whatever you're using. If it's Google Ads, you're gonna have to reconnect to Google Ads with your own account to pull your own data in. There's lots of guides out there on this. It's not so hard, but just keep that in mind and go through it once following one of the guides before you try it on your own first. So that's a quick intro. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll be posting much more Data Studio content.